God's story, Deborah. So part of God's story is about a woman named Deborah. And it goes like this. God's special family was in some trouble. You see, Israel had started to turn away from God and stop following him. But because God loved his family, he wanted to send them a reminder that he was in charge and that it was really important to follow him. And so God allowed Jabin, the king of Canaan, to take over Israel. Now, Jabin had left Sisera, the commander of his armies, in control of Israel. And Sisera, well, he wasn't exactly the nicest guy. In fact, the Bible tells us that he had over 900 iron chariots, which meant he was really powerful and he loved to bully the Israelites. The Israelites tried to resist, but they couldn't do it on their own. After 20 long years of trying to rescue themselves, Israel cried out to God and asked him to rescue them. Kids, it's always a good idea to ask for God's help. Even though God was king of his family, he chose people to lead them. They were called judges. One judge was named Deborah. She was also a prophet. Remember, a prophet is someone who hears from God and shares it. Deborah was a strong, powerful woman who listened to God, helped settle arguments among the Israelites, and worked to lead her nation back to their rescuer. Pretty cool, huh? And she had a message from God. He had heard the cries of the Israelites. So Deborah sent for a man named Barak and told him that if he took 10,000 men up to a place called Mount Tabor, she would bring Commander Sisera to him. Then they could stop Sisera from bullying Israel. But Barak wasn't so sure. In fact, he was pretty worried. He said that he would only go if Deborah would come with him. Deborah told Barak not to worry because God was going to deliver Commander Sisera not through him, but through the hands of a woman. Barak obeyed and gathered his men at Mount Tabor. But when Sisera heard about this new army, he rushed out to battle them with all 900 chariots rumbling along the ground. Now, Deborah could have been scared, but she knew God was with her. She said, get ready. This is the day the Lord will give you victory over Sisera, for the Lord is marching ahead of you. So Barak and his men charged Sisera and his army. The soldiers went forward, and with God's help, defeated Sisera's chariots. Every one of his soldiers were killed, so Sisera went running for his life. He ran to a tent owned by a woman named Jael and asked her to hide him. She agreed and covered him with a blanket. He was pretty tired from all that running, so inside the tent, he fell asleep. When Barak arrived at the camp, Jael led him to Sisera's body. Just like Deborah had prophesied, Sisera had been delivered to Barak through the hands of a woman. With Sisera gone, God led his special family in battle after battle until Jabin, king of all of Canaan, had to surrender before the little nation of Israel. After that, Deborah and Barak burst into song, praised God, and celebrated how God had saved his family. And then there was peace for 40 years. And that's the story of Deborah. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Israel was in trouble. They cried out to God. Deborah told Barak God had a plan. Barak led 10,000 soldiers into battle. God helped the Israelites beat Sisera's chariots. Sisera fled to Jael's tent. Jael killed Sisera. The Israelites defeated Canaan. Deborah and Barak praised God in song. There was peace for 40 years. And that's a part of God's story.